Imagine that this tree is your brain. It's green, it's sharp, uh, you know, it, it's always alive. It's this beautiful flowering structure. It kind of even looks a little bit like your brain if your brain were a tree. Now, computers and the internet were designed and created and intended to augment our human capabilities. But, a little too much internet and maybe this is what your brain starts to look like. This tree dying, you know, stunted, um, you know, dependent on this external tool for stimulation, for information. So we want to think about, when we think about the com computers and the internet and technology, how are they shaping us? Because we are starting to evolve around the capabilities that computers provide. I guarantee you that a thousand years from now, assuming our species is still around, somebody will be studying all the different effects that computers and the internet technology have had on our mental processes and how, and be fascinated by the fact that an entire species of creatures has started to co-evolve with a machine. Computers are not alive. They are not your friend. They are not going to bring meaning to your lives. But computers are the most powerful tool that we've ever created for solving problems, communicating with each other, and changing the world around us. Those two things sound contradictory, but they are absolutely 100% true at the same time. So the goal here of the next set of videos is to give you a sense of how to think about how to make sure that you are in charge. You are in control. The computer is your tool and you understand what its limitations are, you understand what its capabilities are, you understand how it takes advantage of your brain, how it interacts with you, why it's so fun to use computers, how you can get sucked into them, how they can distract you, how they can grab your attention, all the different ways that our brain interacts with computers to make sure that you stay like this guy, nice and sharp, green sharp. Always alive. I right, put this down.